Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm going to show you a couple of things in Excel. Now, it doesn't really matter what version you're using. This is even a free version on this computer and um, you can do all sorts of things with it. So basically the formulas apply for every, you know, version you have. Now what I've got here is a article tally sheet and I'm going to show you how to, you, you know, um, add things, subtract, divide and multiply, okay? So I've got my sheet set out and all I did was type in, click on the box and type in the titles for starters. So I went through and went like this. Now as you can see here, the, this is just a quick tip this does not fit in when it says word total so what I'm going to do is go up in between these two columns here and just double click and it automatically resizes the column for me all right so that's one tip the next thing is um, to get the lines around the boxes all I did was select all of it whichever I wanted and up the top here I've just put bottom border or full borders or anything you want okay so I've I've chosen all borders and it's on there now if I want to take the borders away I would select it all again you can select it all like that if you want to or you can select just this box by holding your left mouse key down and dragging across the selection now if I want to remove the borders all I would do is go to no border here okay anyway so let's get to the addition so firstly um, I've got a couple of things going on here I've got just say 250 words in an article at one cent each equals two dollars fifty now this is a pretty simple sum that we could probably add up ourselves um, then I've got one screenshot at 25 cents a screenshot equals 25 cents. So if I change this to two screenshots and press enter, it will charge 50 cents. Okay, now if the article is uploaded, uh, I pay a dollar, okay, per upload to the website. So the total of all of these things is just here. Now how did I get this total for starters? Because I can't just go along here and say auto sum because I don't want these things included. So this is what I did exactly. Okay so what I wanted was the word total, okay, the shot total and the upload total all added up in this here so I clicked on it so let's just take this away the formula for starters I'm gonna do it now I clicked on the box okay and I put equals in the box okay simple equals now I go to the total and click on it the word total and look what happens it puts E2 in there now I'm gonna just press plus Oop, not equals I want to press plus okay now what else do I want to add to it I want to add the total of the shot cost so I'm going to click on it and look it's done I2 so there it is I2 now I'm going to press plus and I want to add the total of this column okay there we go now I that's it for the formula I'm going to press enter now there's my total okay now to get that going all the way down there okay I've got the box around the four dollars where I've got the to uh, the actual formula that I've created which is here okay now right, I'm just gonna start again right I'm gonna select the box and there's this little corner this little cross comes up okay now what you got to do is put your left mouse button on that when that cross comes up and pull it down pull it down pull it down to just how far you want to go now what this has done 
is created automatically the formula in each of these boxes but it's also changed um, the numbers so just say I've got this one here now it's not going to be the same as this because this wants to add up um, E2 okay E2 and I2 and all that this one wants to add up this which is E6 I6 K6 okay so it's doing it for me okay all right, so I've showed you how to add some boxes up and also we've spread the actual formula all the way down. Okay, now I've also got this one here where I've times something. So I've gone 250, which um, is just in numbers and I'll show you. So just say I select that box and right click on it and we're going to go format cells now I've got it as general or you can have it as a number and you can take away the decimal points okay so we just got a number press OK right you can either have general or a number now this one here is money okay so what I can do is either just go up here and turn it into money okay so I can do it for this one. Let's do this one. Turn it into money. Right, it's turned into $250, which is well overboard. So I'm just going to press undo, which is control and Z on the keyboard. Okay, so I've done that. So as you can see, this is a number. This is money. So what I want to do is times the words by the cost of the word. And here it is here. Okay. So it equals $2.50 because it's one cent per word. Now, how did I do that? Very easy. Again, okay, I'm going to delete the formula and I'm going to show you. I just put the equal sign in there, okay. Then I clicked on this one and I put the times sign in there, okay. And then I clicked on the next box. That's it. And then I pressed enter and it came up with the answer. And the same thing I do again is I drag the corner of that box down here and it makes the formula for me. See, if you look up in this box here, it makes the formula. Okay, so now we've done addition and we've done times. Okay, so what do we got here? Yep, we've done that one. No, wait, wait. We've done that one and we've done that one. Okay, so now I'm going to go down here. Now, just say I've got some articles here. So I'm just going to fill this in. So we've got 140 words, 100, one something, right? Hope I'm not going over my budget here, right? One, I don't usually have 100 word articles, let me tell you that. But let's put it in. Okay, so I filled in the articles. Let's say, right, so we've got that. And some of them have got screenshots. Let's just put some in. Right, okay. And let's just say that all of them were uploaded. So I'm going to drag that number one down there. Sorry to be so quick. Okay, so I've got the total here, but I want to know what the total is, okay? So we've got that. I'm going to press on this box here because I've got total written there. Now I'm just going to go up to auto sum, okay? This funny symbol here, press on it. Now just remember the first thing I did was press on the box where I want the total to go. The next thing, it's automatically selected this column for me. Thanks very much. Okay, so to accept the formula, press enter on your keyboard. Okay, it's done. Now here's the total. Okay, and it's in dollars, as you can see. Now I had a budget of $200. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is select this and change it 
go up to the dollar sign and change it to dollars. Okay? Now, I want to know how much of my budget, the percentage of the budget, what percentage have I used? Okay, so I want to find out the percentage that I've used. So what I'm going to do this time is use division, but turn it into a percentage. So I'm going to click on the box. Wait a minute, it's got zero in there, so I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to just click on this box here and we're going to put a formula in. So we're going to do equals and we're going to do this one because we've used this much divided by how much we had and enter. Oop. Right, now the thing is I am going to change it to a percentage. Press it up the top here. Now what I've done is it is a division which is L19 divided by L20 but this tells me how much of the budget I've used so you can see that for yourself just say that's $70 so three sevens are 21 it's pretty much you know 33 35 percent okay so that's 35 percent of my budget gone okay so we can also work out how much budget is left by using the minus, okay? So just say we go here again and we press equals and we want 200, right, minus this one and press enter. So this is how much budget I've got left, okay? So these are the simple things that you can do. Um, so I've showed you, I actually showed you percentage as well. So basically uh, division, everything is very, very simple. So just say you wanted to do um, a column. So this column divided by this column and then times this column, you can just do it. Just use these symbols and press on the columns. All right. Um, hopefully that shows you a bit of the basic maths in Excel and how to build up some simple formulas. Okay, thanks for watching.